um, we'll hear what we need. So to draw pen and eraser, and then af after come along. So for this um, project, let's use the heavy or the uh, the good the like the thick paper. Thick yes. paper. Yes. Yes. The thick so the paint doesn't um ruin our our. So this is the thick paper that you can put paint on. Oh. And you were giving that in your packages. If you have a canvas, I'm sorry. You can um, draw on the canvas. Um, so for today's class, it's not going to be like a, like a painting um, that we have done before that you can just frame. For today's class, we're gonna do um, just different types of flowers that oh. later you can add to other paintings. So um, I'll let you get your stuff ready. So paper, thick paper, pencil, and eraser. And then once we finish the drawings, we will um, go ahead and start painting. Mm. So we, we use what kind of paint? Is it watercolor or the acrylic? Uh, I use acrylic, but if you want to use watercolor, you're more than welcome to. Joanna, uh, which one is better, paper or canvas? Um, canvas, if you have it. Better, right? Uh, yes, if you have it, yes. If not, okay. use thick paper that you were giving because that one is good for paint too. Mm, okay, thank you. Uh So the first um, flower that we are going to learn today are tulips. Um, let me show you a quick picture of tulips. We will probably just draw one flower for each kind. Um, Sorry, where is the camera? So these are tulips. So that's our first flower. So today we're gonna learn um, how to draw and paint a few different flowers. And maybe in the future, we'll do a nice painting with just one kind of flower. For example, we could do this one in the future. But for now, I just um, wanna draw and paint. Um, and then later on, we can add the things we learned today into our, our paintings. So um, the easiest way, sorry, um, let me just make sure you have, okay. So let's start with our tulips. So the easiest way to draw, as always, is just to um, draw the big, shapes first. So the first 
big shape that I see, I see on a tulip is an oval shape. Remember how we drew, draw our circles? Just keep going until you have the shape that you like and then erase what you don't need. Okay, uh, Silvana, can you show the picture of the tulip again? She wants to take a picture. Oh, yeah. Um, we will not um, draw that specific tulip, but I can. Um, let me just find it again. Um, Sorry, where's the camera? Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I think they got it. Thank you, Savannah. Perfect. No worries. Um so I like to, with flowers, I like to break it down. So the first step I like for tulips is I draw an oval shape like this. And then after, I'm going to flatten the top. I'm going to erase the part that I don't need. So if you see the top part is a little bit flat and with an eraser just erase the lines you don't need after you like the shape that you have created and now I'm gonna draw a smaller shape like this noble shape at the top And after that, I'm going to draw my stem, so a line coming down, we can make it thicker. Thicker when it, where it touches here at the top. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape on my paper so it's not falling down. If you would like to draw a few, not just the one, you can, just for practice. Um, and then I'm gonna draw each individual petal, which is, which are more um, oval shapes like this. So I'm gonna start with the one that is closer to my eyes, the bigger one. Remember to draw with very light pressure so we can erase after. 
And I know my this circle stops here, but you can actually go over it. This is just a guideline. So you finish the, the top here. And I'm gonna draw the one on the left. I'm actually going to make this one a little bit wider here. And we can erase the lines we don't need. So you see how I went over this line I had here to finish the tip? Make sure you do that. And then you can erase whatever is inside your puddle here. Um, and then we're gonna, I'm gonna draw the one to the right. So I have one, two, three at the front here, and I'm gonna draw one here at the back. Just, I can only see the top. Okay, that's my tulip. So I'm gonna erase now oh, the lines I don't need. Yeah, so um, those first lines that I did for my big shape, I erase. If you want to draw more, you're welcome to, um, just for practice. And we're gonna paint it after. Um, actually, um, tulips usually have long leaves. So we're gonna do that as well. Um, so here at the bottom, I mark where my leaf starts and I put a dot where I want it to end. And then I, draw a line, but it's not a straight line. So um, it's straight here at the top and then it goes to the right. And then it's gonna go back down, but I wanna put a dot where it, I wanna get to, so it's easier for me to see. And let's do another leaf on the side. So this leaf 
start here is going to go all the way up over here and then it's going to come back down here. So let's do line by line. So it starts here on my right leaf and it goes behind this stem. And after I'm done, I, I will put the camera closer so you can look at it with more detail. But it's behind the stem and I just keep going up. And then I go down. Um, I will go down probably to over here and I'll continue to go down to the front of the stem here. And this one is actually a bit more of a straight line. So I'm gonna do that straighter. I'm gonna erase what I don't need. I'm gonna finish this a little bit fast and then I'll give you time to catch up and then show, I'll show you the details. And then at the front here, there's a little line because the, the leaf is kind of folding on itself. And I'm going to go over my lines. And I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit more detail. Okay, that's my tulip. So I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the details of the flower. So you see that at the bottom, my leaves start on the same point. This is on top of the stem, but this line is behind this stem. So I'll give you a little bit of time to catch up.
proven that they won't hold the large line goal. That's just like the meat of it. I'm probably supposed to be allocating some of that goal of assets to Bitcoin. A lot of other experts. And our next flower, I'm going to get started, but if you need to, oops, sorry, it's out of focus here. Um, but if you need to, oops, sorry, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, there we go. But if you need some time to catch up, you can take your time um, and then wait until I'm a bit ahead. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the camera to focus on. So the next one is an easy lavender drawing. So for lavender, let's do two flowers. And I'm gonna draw, draw two lines. Serena, how many flowers are we going to draw on this page so we know how much room we have to leave? Um, we are going to draw four. One, two, oh, okay. Three, Thank four. you. Thank you. Yes. So lavender is very easy. It's just a stem um, with little... Um, kind of drops. They look, the shape is like drops. So I'm going to start over here and I draw the leaves of the flower, the purple leaves, probably three. Then I go up and draw, I draw two or three more. This is just a guideline with the paint. You can, you don't have to follow exactly what you drew with the lavender just because um, it doesn't have a very specific shape. It's just the purple color on top of the stem. It doesn't have to be perfect, just a little bit of a guideline. As I go higher here at the top, they're smaller. I'm gonna do this one as well.
So that is her lavender. Very easy. You don't need to put too much detail on this one because the paint um, will cover our shapes on this one. And so don't put too much detail. It's just the basic line and um, the flowers look like uh, like a drop or a teardrop or a it's round at the end and more pointy towards the, the stem of the flower. And remember to do very little, um, um, very little pressure. So I'm gonna get started with the next flower. Um, if you have a lot of, like for example, this one, the um, the pencil mark is too strong. I have to go back to it and erase it um, before my painting. So next flower, we'll paint a daisy. Mm, I like to start again with the, um, the circle, like the, the oval that my flower is going to cover. So what I mean is, um, I start with a big circle like this, even though at the end that's going to get erased. So I keep going, keep going until I am closer to the perfect shape. This is not a, full, a perfect circle, it's more like a normal yeah, focal shape. It should be a circle or it should be an oval shape. An oval shape. So you just keep going again. It doesn't have to be perfect because this lines 
will be raised after I'm done. And then I want to think where is the middle or the center of my flower? And I draw a small circle because that's where the petals start. I think we did this flower last year at some point. And then I'm gonna draw a line to indicate where each petal will be, but the line will be erased after. This is just for me to know where the line, kind of imagine my, my petals. So there's one here, one short here, one here, and they are curved. If they're looking straight towards you, they look straight. So we're gonna erase a little bit the lines I don't need. Maybe this one could be smaller, closer. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect again. It, um, it will get erased after. So now that I have my lines, I may even get rid of a few lines. This is just a guideline for me to know what kind of directions I needed to draw. But now I start drawing each individual petal. So let's start with the um, this one right here. These are the lines that are gonna stay in the end. So these lines you wanna do a little bit better. Less messy.
So these ones at the bottom, they're shorter, but also um, they fold. So you can see the, like the bottom, the lower part. So make sure you draw this shape here to give the illusion that it's kind of bending. And this one as well. And it's even bigger now. So don't forget to do these little shapes here because this is what gives it the three dimensional illusion. So it kind of looks like they're coming towards you. Look that these ones at the top are longer and more straight. As I go to the side, they kind of curve towards this point. So here it curves like this here it curves like this and then at the bottom they're very short maybe half or a third of these ones and then i draw this kind of oval shape um to indicate that they're folding at the end one tiny last one right here kind of going up already but still that having that fold. And then the stem here. So um, after you have your the shapes that you will you like, go over with your eraser and with your pen. So I with my sorry with your pencil. You will go over the lines that need to be seen, so the edge, the petals. And now that I know that my that I like my flower, I don't need the, the first shape. The circle I or the oval I did, I don't need that. This is why it's very important to start with a very light pressure on the pencil because you need to erase it after.
And we're gonna um, do one quick last flower and then we're gonna start painting. So the last one, um, this time I will draw a, a perfect circle as much as I can. and a small circle in the middle. And I'm gonna divide it in like a like a pizza into five sections. So I'm gonna start maybe one, two, three, four. So do little lines first so you know where to divide them. One, or little dots, so you know that you get a good. So these lines will be erased later. This is for us to know um, the proportion or the size. Okay. So again, I had a big circle, small circle, and I cut my circle into five slices. And then from there, um, I'm going to draw each petal. So the shape of the petal is um, interesting. So it starts very narrow right here. And then it gets very big. And it's um, very round at the top. I think we did one painting the pink flowers with this flower.
And then at the top, it has this little funky line right here. It's not perfect. It's not very straight. So that is my petal. And after we're done, we're gonna erase this center line right here and the big circle, but let's finish all the petals. Um, the petals overlap each other. So let's do this one right here. So this one will go on the front. This one goes here, hiding behind it, then comes all the way here. Again, with the pencil drawing, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you like the big shapes. So these lines here don't have to be perfect because um, with paint, we'll go over it. So it doesn't matter, really. Okay, that's my flower. Now I'm gonna erase again. The stuff, the big shape. Perfect, so um, as soon as you're done, let's get your our paints ready. I'm gonna get mine ready and then I'll show you which colors we're using.
So we're going to be using red, blue, white, yellow, and green if you have it. If not, we can mix it. And we're going to start with the tulip. So we're going to do this color, red. If you have these colors, the black on the side, perfect. So, um, and also we're gonna start with a flat brush. Make sure you have water. So water and paper towel. Remember, don't put too many details on the pencil drawing. Hi, teacher. Yeah. Could, you, could you please repeat the color? How many color? Blue? Yes. Yeah. Red. So, red? We're gonna, yes, we're going to start with red, yellow, yellow, white, and green. White. And green. Okay. Thank you. No worries. Um, if you don't have yellow, I mean, sorry, if you don't have green, you can mix it by mixing blue and yellow gives you green. Okay. And we're gonna start with a flat brush. Mm -hmm. um, remember to go over the um, the pencil drawing with your eraser. So erase a little bit the harsh lines. So take your eraser, go over very gently so you get the extra graphite out so your paint doesn't become muddy. I can still see the lines. You don't want to erase a hundred percent, but okay. 
So I can see the lines. And we're gonna start putting red on our palette. So put red, um, white. And a little bit of, of yellow. and green. I'll show you mine in just a second. Sorry. So white. So we're going to start with a darker red. Where did I put my brush? So I have my red. I'm going to add a little bit of green, just a drop. You see how green makes red darker? And I'm going to put that color Um, at the base here. If you can do just one brush stroke, even better. So, okay. And now here at the bottom, the other puddle right here. Okay. So you see how at the top, the brush gets dry and I like it shows the paper you want that. Joanna, could you repeat the red, uh, the, well, how you can get this red? Yeah, so I just added green, green. to the oh. red. Okay, thank just you. Just a little green. bit of green and you add red. little by little. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep going before my paint dries, but I'll go over the steps again um, once I'm done. So that's my first color. Um, the next color I do is just red. And I go one brush stroke up. That's it. And I cover a little bit of the previous color I had, and that's okay. So just red, no green. 
Por que já tem um carro com ele? So the edge of my painting is dark as I go farther in. And you see that I'm only doing one brush stroke. So that was my second color. I'm gonna keep going, but I'll repeat the steps. So first step, green and red. Second step, just red. Third step, a little bit of yellow and red. Make sure you use lots of paint on your brush. So you can just, and I don't mix it too much. Um, then it goes this way. So one brush stroke. Okay, you I like that. You lost your video. Oh, uh, just one okay. second. You are back. I think I just need to, sorry, I'm just gonna move the camera. So oh, um, the last color I did was red and yellow, and I mix it a little bit, but not too much. And then I went from the inside of my petal here, one stroke all the way up, that's it. And I do that again um, on the inside here. Um, let me just think where the light is coming from. So I'll do it first here, the top left, just a little bit coming down here. And then on the inside, just coming down here. You see that um, I did not completely blend it or mixed my colors. So there's yellow and red. So once I put the stroke down, here it looked red and here yellow. And that's what I want. So, so what I did was I have red and yellow here, and then at the end, I just touch the yellow here, touch. So I have orange here, and at the top, I have um, yellow, and I put my brush like this, so the yellow is at the top. And I'm gonna use that same color here. And at the back here, just at the top.
I'm going to finish my painting and then I'll go back to, to the order because I don't want my paint to dry. So I put yellow and red, yellow on the tip, so it, on the tip of the brush. So when I do this, the edge looks a little bit more yellow. I'm gonna go back to just red, no other colors. I'm gonna go right in the center here. And try to do just one stroke down. So I'm gonna repeat what I've done so far. First color, red and green. Gives me dark red, which I put here and here. Second color, just red, which I put in the center, here and here. Third color, red and yellow, which I put on the edge here and on the edge here. I also put that color here and here. I'm now going to switch to a smaller brush. And I'm going to go back to color number one, dark red. So to mix dark red, green and red. If you don't have green, remember you mix green by mixing yellow and blue. Or instead of green, you can put black, black and red. I'm gonna go here in the center. So I want a dark red. So if your red is not dark enough, you can add more green or more uh, black to cover the, the, like the, like inside here. And then I go with just red to make a little bit of a transition. I know I'm going a little bit fast, but I'll go over it once I'm, I'm done so you can see it a little bit better. And that's my tulip. So um, now I'm gonna add, sorry, I'm gonna review first and then I'll go back to details. So dark red, I put here in the center. As I go up, I put just red. And now at the top, I'm gonna use red and yellow again.
red and yellow are the highlights. Sorry, I need to clean my brush first. And just that yellow. At the top. And I go back with my bigger brush. Okay, so I'm not gonna I'm now gonna wait for you to catch up. I'm gonna review what I've done um while it dries. So with a big brush, I wanna do just one stroke like this. And that's, I'm done. I go with the next color, one stroke. So dark red at the bottom, here at the top and on the side. Then medium red, I put right here on the center and right here on the center a little bit here. Then I did yellow and red and I put at the top, the very top of all the petals here. Now I'm waiting for it to dry. Just gonna finish this lower section right here so it's complete. I'm waiting for it to dry. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna wash my brush. I'm gonna put the camera closer so you can see a little bit more detail. Notice where the yellows are. I'm gonna do one last thing and I'm done with the red. I'm gonna take yellow. I this is red and yellow, more yellow. I'm going to do this edge right here. If you find that you put a color and it's too strong, 
you can grab a dry brush and just kind of blend it or put more of the other colors on top. Okay, that is my tulip. And once you're done, wash your brushes. And the next color we're going to do is green, but we'll do the green for the all three flowers. After you're done with your flower, make sure you have lots of green. If you do not have green, make sure you mix it by making yellow, by mixing yellow and blue gives you green. Make sure you have enough green for all three flowers. So we're gonna start with a medium green. Um, I am gonna paint it. It's just a green for now. So I'm just gonna paint and then you can see what you need to paint. If you're still working on your flower, you can continue working on this flower. Um, have this brush for the green. Again, green, just as it is. If you don't have green or this color of green, you mix it with blue and yellow. Actually to my green, is too bright. I'm gonna add yellow, green and yellow.
So that's my tulip. We'll finish this softer. So again, I have green, yellow, so green and yellow. If you don't have green, you add blue and yellow, but you are more yellow than blue. This stem is very easy, just a line. And the other line. No need to worry too much about this stem here because it's gonna be covered by the leaves on top. And I'm gonna erase a little bit more of this. So we started with the medium green. We're gonna do two more greens later. We're gonna do a dark green and a light green. So this one right here is just the medium one. Um, for the tulip, I just did the top of the leaf and the front of the leaf. We're gonna do this with a, a lighter green. Make sure you have um, a brush that is the adequate size, size. Sometimes we use a really big one or a very small one. So I like to do it as big as I can. The, or use the brush, the biggest brush I can so if I'm painting with a bigger brush here, and then I move to this section and my brush is then too big, that's when I size down. So I'm always sizing down. We're gonna do these green colors and then we'll do the, the rest of the flowers next class, which is just painting. So um, that's my first green. 
if you're still working on your first screen, you can keep going. I'm going to start with the light green. So this is my green I used. I'm going to add more yellow. More yellow to make it lighter. I'm going to cover the leaf here with a lighter green. And I'm going to do a little bit of the right side. I'm painting over the color that I already did. I'm painting over my first green. And I'm going to do the top of the right leaf here. Just the top. I'm going to do one line outside my first color, so a very, very small Just going back with my first green. I'm going to go over what I'm doing in just a second. So I first did the light green. And then I'm going to go back to my first green to cover or do a little bit more touch-ups here. So, um, oh, I forgot there is, um, this lead comes back here. Okay, so, um, first green is your medium green, so, that's, I basically did the stem, the outer edges of the leaf, 
Then I added yellow to the green, a lot of yellow. And then I did this right line here, right of the stem here going down. I also did this whole leaf here, leaving this darker. And I also did the top of this leaf here. So those are my two colors for now. And you can even get a little bit more of that yellow or light green. And just add a little bit more dimension here. And for um, the other two, again, I have that green and yellow, so my light green. We're going to do the same, so I'm going to go over it. So I add yellow and green, lots of yellow, lots, lots of yellow. Are we saving the rest for the next class? Yes. Yeah, because it's already 2.35. Yes, we're just going to finish up with this screen and then we're done. So um, I'm going to do the right side of the stem here. Here at the top, you don't need to really because um, petals will go over it. Now I'm going to do the last one. So this one on the right side, I am just drawing a line right here coming down. If you don't see much of a difference between your two greens, maybe you need to uh, add more yellow. And that's it. So we will finish the other flowers next class. We're almost done with the tulip. We just need one more, like the darker green. And um, we'll do these three next class as well as the dark green. Remember to always wash your brush.